Check. Good morning and Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to C3, this wonderful Sunday morning, bright and cheery outside. Good, come on in and grab a seat. We're gonna get the festivities started in just a few moments. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have some fun this morning as well. Right before we start begin getting into the service and the word and everything. So come on up. Don't be scared. We're family. So you know, scoot on close as you can. If you're in the lobby, feel free to come on in as we get ready to celebrate. This wonderful Christmas morning. I know we've, me and my family have already had a great time. Uh, Open up presents and trees. I mean, the dog even got a present, so we're, we're doing pretty darn good. So good old Rosie. She's having a good time at home right now. <laughs> so come on in. Come on in, Pastor Eddie. Merry Christmas, Pastor Eddie. Looking good? Woo. All right. All right. Hey, you know what? We thought it'd be fun uh, today since it's Christmas. Uh, we're going to do the hybrid service, so... There are going to be people going to be watching online, and then we're here in person. Uh, I may not even be here. I may be, what do they call it? What do you call it when they're? The hologram. The hologram. Yeah. <laughs> no, but what I want to do, we're just for a couple minutes. We have 9 minutes, 27 seconds. We're going to just Woo. do some Christmas trivia up here before we get going. Um, so I just want a couple of contestants. We, we have this nice little ornament. Oh, I love this one. This Ooh. is the Grinch one. But just a couple people that, hey, if you think you know your Christmas trivia, just come on up. Who, who's going to come? Who's going to come? Uh, come on. Yeah. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Marsha. Who else is going to come up? Who else is going to come up? Who, who wants to come up? Linda, Linda, Linda. Yeah. Fred. Fred, Fred. Uh. All right. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. All right. Come on up to the stage here. This is what we're going to do. As people are arriving and getting here, um, Want to welcome all of you who are watching live. One stand on this side. Hey. One on this side. And I'm going to give you some questions. Put your hands by your side. And uh, uh, Pastor Richard, if you could keep yeah. score. Got it. Um, we have 8 minutes, 27 seconds, and we'll see how many questions we could go through. When you hear the question, whoever slaps first, give me the answer. Okay, ready. Which popular Christmas beverage is also known as milk punch? Eggnog is it? Yeah. All right. Here's question number two. What did the other reindeers not let Rudolph do because he had a shiny nose? Playing reindeer games. Playing reindeer games. These guys have it down. All right. Um, how many? Oh, this is going to be a good one because uh, how many ghosts shows up showed up in a Christmas Carol? No. No, there was four of them, four of them. Marsha, you can't be listening to the crowd. They may not know. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, this is, is going to be a fast one. Ready? Where was baby Jesus born? Bethlehem. All right, we had to throw in a, 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 a godly one there. So, um, uh, the movie on Miracle on 34th Street is based on a real-life department store. What is it? Oh, it's Macy's. But you guys, come on, crowd. Come on, crowd. That was your outside voice, Pastor Al. That was your outside voice. So we're not going to give that one. So what's, where's the score? Okay, okay, okay. Um, what are the other two most popular names for Santa Claus? 
Oh, you got it, you got it. Okay. Elvis isn't going to have a white Christmas. He's going to have a blue Christmas. How does it go? A blue you, you, you Christmas. June. All right. So where are we at? Four to one. Come on, friend. Ready, ready. What do people traditionally put on the top of a Christmas tree? Angel. All right. We have, ooh, six minutes less. All right. We'll see. Um, all right. In Home Alone, where do the McAllisters go on vacation when they, ta- when they leave Kevin behind? Yeah, well, that's, that's, just, that's the country, but what's the city? Paris, all right. All right, we'll give it to you. Um, in the movie, It's a Wonderful Life, what happens every time a bell rings? Angel gets his wings. All right. Three to five. Come on. You you still have a chance here. We have five minutes. All right. Let's see. Um, What words follow Silent Night in the song? Holy night. All has come. Okay. You got it. Um, Which Hollywood actor played six different roles in the Polar Express? Tom Hanks. Wow. She watches too much TV. All right, all right. Okay. Um, In a Charles Dickens Christmas Carol, what was the first name of Scrooge? (laughs) Yeah. I know you know him. She's just too. She's too fast. I know a lot of nonsense, apparently. Okay. What about this one? What? Since you got this one, what country did eggnog come from? Eggnog. No, 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 that's not it. No, that's not the accent. That's not the accent. England, you got it. You got it. England. All right. We have uh, which real life person is Santa Claus based on? The Christian Bishop St. Nicholas. Woo. All right. Uh, what did Frosty? the snowman do when the magic hat was placed on his head? Danced around. That's it. What is Ralphie's little brother's name in A Christmas Story? Shout it out. No. <laughs> it's Randy. <laughs> she was so positive. Rusty. No. All right. This one's for um, five points. Whoa. Five points. She only has, she has more than five. Huh? Oh, she has 10? Oh, she has 10? Wow. So he could get, you could get close. One, one, one last one. Which Christmas song contains the lyric, everyone dancing merrily in a new old-fashioned way? Rocking around the Christmas tree. You got it. Oh! Five points, 15 points. Ender, Ender, there's Papa. Merry Christmas. <laughs> come, come on, Papa. Well, you know what? You could have, pick one of your uh, things all right. Good. Could you guys want one of those last, last night? This is this is yours right here. Yeah, that's that's your your, your gift. Let's, uh, wow. Let's give it up for the, these two. Um, can we have the? Uh, we could take these down now, and we are. We're starting. Pastor Richard. Oh, here's here. here. Picture because there's a picture with me and him last year, huh? Say hello. Say hello. Hello. 
Say Merry Christmas. Are you ready to worship? Is that where we're going, Pastor? Uh, yes. Okay. So we're going to enter into some worship. The worship team put together some amazing songs, and then we have some exciting stuff for you guys to do. Let me pray. Father God, we just thank you for today. We thank you for uh, an amazing Christmas that we get to celebrate together, not only in person but online. And we just pray that it would be a blessing and a glory and honor to you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Amen. Everyone stand to your feet. Hey, welcome. I'm the Christmas search engine, and I can help you find anything related to... DIY Christmas decorations. Oh, okay. Uh, let's jump right in. Here we go. <laughs> what date Christmas this year? Uh, December 25th. What date Christmas next year? December 25th. Song that goes. Um, I think I know what you're looking for. How cook ham. Okay. How cook ham fast. Uh. Oh, ham flamethrower recipe. Wait, what? Christmas present mom. Nice. Cheap. Nice. What day Christmas 2035? Are you serious? Is Santa Claus real? Uh, you should maybe ask your parents about that. Gift wrap bowling ball. Please be careful. Custom dog Christmas. Sorry, what? Christmas dog custom cute. Oh, you mean costume? Christmas dog costume cute! Gift wrap accordion. Uh, that's gonna be tricky. <laughs> Can I drink expired eggnog? No. What happens if drank expired eggnog? Why'd you even ask me in the first place? Dealing with relatives. Okay. Dealing with nosy relatives. Uh, well... Dealing with my nosy, overbearing relatives who won't stay out of my business. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's pretty much all the same stuff. <laughs> Gift wrap a saddle. Who are you buying this stuff for? Santa Claus riding a unicorn. Santa Claus riding a unicorn socks. Is that a thing? Search it up. Oh, wow. Here they are. Take my money. Norwegian tree skirts. How many lights, one outlet? Elf pajamas. Dog singing Christmas carols. <sighs> oh, hello. What is Christmas really about? <laughs> I've got just the thing. An angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. So, Jesus? <laughs> Jesus. May I? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Huh. How fix burnt ham? Okay. Uh, you know what? Forget it. Pizza delivery Christmas Eve. <laughs> no problem. Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. We're glad you're here. We hope you're enjoying your morning so far. Enjoy some Christmas music with us. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe.
Christmas.
Let's make some noise. Merry Christmas, everybody. Well, go ahead, turn around, tell somebody Merry Christmas, give them a high five, a hug. Tell them it's so good to be here celebrating with each and every one of you. Man, I love it. You can, you can still be in a winter wonderland here in the desert. I believe it. We got the snow on the stage. <laughs> Oh man, we'll go ahead and grab a seat. My name's Richard. I'm one of the pastors here at C3. I want to welcome you guys so much for being a part of our morning Christmas service. Man, what a special moment to be able to sing some carols. We're going to get in some worship. We're going to be hearing the word, doing a lot of really fun stuff. Uh, but, you know, first off, I would love to, of course, welcome you all. Let's give a big round of applause for all of our guests here today. Our our first timers here. We know you guys are going to be uh, just really blessed by the rest of what we have here. And you know, I, you know, let's also, also let's give it up for the, our our team, man. You know, with the with the video, we're doing a hybrid service today. We have in, we have in person as well as digital and online elements that are going on for our online congregation, man. We have Pastor Isaac and the team just just really do some great stuff with the carols. We got some worship coming up, man. Uh, e even our, our our children's youth pastor over here in his jammies, man. He brought his own kid, everything like that. This is. This is big support right here. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, so, man, it's just so awesome to be blessed with such an amazing team, putting in the work for the holidays, all the extras and things like that. Well, you know, hey, before we get into some announcements, uh, we have a prayer request. And what greater time to pray for the needs of our congregation to hear in the, in the beginning of Christmas? Because, hey, G you know, God moved heaven and earth to bring an answer to one of our greatest problems. Yeah. And if he's willing to do that, how much more for the daily needs we have, right? So let's just bow our heads and let's join our faith together as we begin to pray for the needs here. Uh, we're going to pray for Diane. She, has a, she had a bad report from the doctors, but we know that the great physician has a good report for her. So, Father, we, we just thank you, Lord, for Diane. Father, we, uh, we thank you, Father God, that you know her beginning and you know her end. And, Father God, that you are still writing her story. So, Father God, as, she, as the word cancer has been spoken over her, Father God, we speak he, he, health and healing healing and strength over her and her body. God, that you'd prepare her mind, her body, her soul for the journey she's about to take, Father God. Lord, Holy Spirit, we just pray that you would meet her where she's at. You would give her hope. You would give her family wisdom, Father God. And Lord, you would lead and guide the doctors and nurses as they walk through these, ne these next moments, Father God. We pray for a divine healing within her body, Father God. We speak life over her, Father God. And Lord, we know that you've put broken bodies back together in the blink of an eye, Father God. So we pray for a miracle over her life now, Father God, that her body would be restored, Father God. So, Lord, as you move in her life, as you walk her through these moments, Father God, we give you all the honor, all the praise. And as a church family, we're believing and trusting in you for your miraculous might and power to work over her life, Father God. We thank you for these things as we lean upon you in your goodness and wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody set. Amen, amen and amen. Let's give God a praise. Man, that's really good. Oh, man. So this is, uh, this is our Christmas service, like I said. Uh, I'm waiting. Um, you know, I'm kind of waiting for my wife here. Uh, has anybody, Derek, Derek, have you seen Michelle? She's supposed to be up here with she. she yeah, we, 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 we took each other cars, so I don't, you know, I, let me, hold on a second. Let me give her a call real quick. Let me, let me give her a call real quick. She's usually not like this. Hun, are, are you here? Richard. Where where are you at, hun? I'm. Hey, Rich. Yeah, I'm in the middle of announcements. Oh, uh, I just. Were well, you just what? I just closed my eyes for a minute. Yeah. Where so you at? We're supposed to do this together. Right now. Yeah, yeah, right now. They're looking at me. Like right now. Derek's right here. He's staring okay. at me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, get over I'll here. I'll be Hurry right up. there. Um. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Just stall for me. Stall? Where are you for coming from? A little from? bit. Uh, and, and I'll be right there. Okay. okay. All right. Here. Bye. Hang tight. Tell, tell each other your favorite like Christmas stories or something for a minute. Well, let me figure out what's going on. I, is that, I think I see. I'm here, I'm here. 
Wow, hun. She made it, guys. Woo! Woo! All right. Your hair looks good. Your teeth look good, hun. Woo! On the edge of my seat, it's a, it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> a Christmas miracle. Wow. Oh, my gosh. All the way from Yukaipa. So sorry, guys. It's great. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got that so. Elon boost going on over there. <laughs> oh I love my it. Goodness. Well, hun, do you want to say hello and welcome to everybody? Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Pastor oh Michelle, gosh. people. Wow. And Merry Christmas to everybody who's watching online. And you probably saw her driving through your neighborhood. <laughs> Yeah. So, oh, hey, uh, you know, since it is Christmas, and if you are here for, for the first time or first time in a long time where you're one of our, 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 our guests here, we would love to give you guys a Christmas present. We'd love to mug you after the service. Yep. Yeah, we'd love to get you guys a free a Christmas mug. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a C3 mug, but it's a great way to go home with something great this morning, uh, and then that'll be wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So what's up, hun? Well, we are going to go ahead and just continue with the service, just like we were listening yeah. to some good music. I'm yeah. sure you guys, I was driving here, but you know. Yeah, she, she, she's still I going through it, the I list. I caught it online. Um, well, speaking of things, let's go ahead and prepare our hearts for tithes and offerings yes, today. Yes, yes. Yeah, tis the season for giving and generosity. Woo! Yeah! yeah. But as God's been generous to us, today is our opportunity to be able to be faithful and obedient and generous to him as well. You know, so this is our opportunity to pray over the offering, the, the tithes and things like that. If you guys are giving me a cash or check today, be sure to go ahead and lift your hands up. And our ushers would love to get you a tax deductible receipt because, I mean, we're at that moment, too, at the end of the year where some people are trying to figure out what do they do with their deductions right. and everything. And, I mean, hey, if you're going to spend it, might as well put it to something that's eternally. And uh, how cool that we get to give a gift to God yes. financially on Christmas Day. Right. And so, you know, just like the wise men brought their gifts, hey, Amen. I I feel I want to be a part of the wisest thing and I want to give to God and right. I know that our finances are going to something eternal yeah. and so um, that's really good if you all need to give online you can scan the QR code and the ushers have the envelopes as well yeah that makes sense I mean it's it is his birthday right so happy he should birthday, get Happy birthday, Jesus. Amen. Happy it's birthday, Jesus. I, I heard the song before. It's a good one. <laughs> so yeah, we have all of our digital ways of giving. And as we're, as the ushers, you guys are good passing out the passing out the buckets. Feel free to pass the buckets out. We'll be good to go. Just a couple cu couple really exciting things coming up on Wednesday, starting up with this brand new year. We have a we have a series on Revelation. Right. Wow. Pastor Mike is going to be doing his small group on Revelations because you guys asked for it. So he's ready to deliver. Right. The people so, have spoken. The people have spoken. Right. So uh, the, on our first Wednesday service, we'll be doing a, a whole service, worship and everything like that. And uh, Pastor Mike will be opening up the series, giving an introduction. And then we'll have a small group Bible study happening every Wednesday after that, going chapter by chapter through the book of Revelation. And it's going to be fuego in good ways, in good ways. Uh, it'll be really good. And then Next Sunday is our New Year's our New Year's service. Yes. Yeah, so that'll be really good. And then Michelle and myself will be will be doing a tag team. Yep, tag up, team back, back again. again. Chicken or wreck it. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought we were I thought we were going there. Okay, so yeah, but and we promise we'll be there on time and it'll be really we'll good. We'll be here on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Tuesday is Christmas cleanup, right? Yes. So yeah. if you guys um, would, if you're available on Tuesday morning, we're going to be taking down all these decorations. So we'd love some help with that. Yeah. That'd be really wonderful. Now, you know, I, with Christmas, I mean, I've heard the stories time and time again, right? I mean, I've, I've had 40 Christmases so far, and they've all been wonderful. And, I, you know, every time I hear these Christmas stories, I always kind of wonder, man, I wish I, could, I wish I could just talk to the Bible characters. Like, what, what was going through their mind, right, honey? You ever wondered that? Like, what that was going is through so their mind? funny you say that you because say we've just launched no. a podcast. no. It's one episode. Say less. One and done. Wow. <laughs> and we have interviewed a couple from the Bible. So let's go ahead and watch the screen and see how the interview came out. Good morning, you guys. I have been able to snag an exclusive interview with Christmas celebrity couple, Joseph and Mary, parents of none other, baby Jesus, fully grown and resurrected. We are diving into all details of Jesus's immaculate conception, birth, location, announcements, and Joseph's POV, his point of view. But before we start, we want to thank our sponsors. Making connections at church can be difficult, and that's why we here at C3 have created small groups. We have a continuous small group every Wednesday night at 7 p.m., and you're invited. In 2023, we'll be launching even more small groups, so look forward to that. Small groups at C3. 
It's like a big group, but smaller. <laughs> okay, please help me welcome Mary and Joseph, parents to Jesus. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. I am so excited. Now, Mary, I want to talk to you first. Let's dig into this. What was it like giving birth to God's son? Like, tell me about it. Oh, the announcement was terrifying. Imagine an angel visiting you. But to see Jesus grow up and become the son of God that he is, so amazing. Wow. Now, Joseph, from what I read, it was kind of difficult when Mary told you that she was pregnant and not by you. Well, if it wasn't for that angel visiting me in the dream, I would have never been able to see my baby boy take his first steps. Wow. I would have never been able to work with him in my carpenter shop or eventually die, but then he rose again. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Wow, that is roller coaster parenting right there. <laughs> now, was there any confusion when Jesus would say, Father, or like, Father you, <laughs> Father God? Oh, oh my him. <laughs> yes, all the time. <laughs> funny okay tell us about the stable because now god the messiah is here and you take him to an inn and there's no room for him well that was joseph's one job to find me a place to deliver jesus wow. okay we've been through this before for like two thousand years there was a census going on and there was no place for us to stay in the whole town and you couldn't wait one more day well, I was carrying the Messiah, so no, I couldn't. And I had been riding a donkey for miles, and that would kick anybody into labor. <laughs> yeah, anybody. Okay, now you're holding baby Jesus in your arms. What happens next? Well, it was a wild scene. There were animals everywhere. Wow. And then I'm trying to find something to wrap my baby boy in, and these shepherds showed up. And then these wise men who followed a star, mm -hmm. but they came with gold, frankincense, and myrrh mm -hmm. for my little boy. Wow, wow. About that, you said my little boy, and we actually have a DNA test. <laughs> I know, it's kind of a surprise, but um, we have the results. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Yeah. Joseph, you're not the father. <laughs> we knew we that. Knew that. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. <laughs> Thank you guys for sharing your points of view and just for coming and just letting us know your story about you. raising baby Jesus. Merry Christmas, you guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas to you. <laughs> wow, that interview was so good. I am so glad we got to hear that. Now, before we wrap up this podcast, I want to go ahead and thank our sponsors one last time. Dream Team at C3. Yeah. You make church happen. In fact, if you look around and see all the Christmas decorations, you help put those up. And we actually need your help to bring them down. So if you could sign up in the lobby and join the Dream Team, and we will all take these down together. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Wow, I can't wait for the second episode. Who next? <laughs> Well, you know, it wouldn't be Christmas with, unless we heard something special from the kids. So we have some, we have a special, uh, some special songs from our very own kids choir. And uh, you know, one of the one of the cutest part about it is just watching the kids do their antics and all their good stuff. And I've always looked at them wondering, hey, what's going through their head? Yeah, let's find out. So go ahead, roll it. Once upon a time, Christmas morning. Today, as a matter of fact, right now. At this very moment, C3 kids are about to sing for the family Christmas service with all of their cuteness. But parents, no need to bring out your cameras. This will be live streamed. Let's see what songs they've prepared for us today. Hey C3 kids, who's excited to sing a song for Jesus?
this ball stuff and a football thing and a boxing thing. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Wow, C3 Kids is going to crush this family service. Why is Pastor Chris so happy? Is he chocolate wasted? Uh, maybe he is. <laughs> What's the difference between hot chocolate and hot cocoa? Remember to smile, remember to smile. Mom said on the way to church that if I don't smile, then I'm walking home. I'm getting presents, I'm getting presents, I'm getting presents. are doing so good. Oh, I guess that's a note. Santa? Is Santa a Christian? Are they friends? Who would win in a fight? Can Jesus turn water into hot cocoa? Hey, what's wrong? You guys seem like you're distracted. Is this song too slow for you guys? Ah! All right, all right. Who wants to sing a faster song?
the C3 Kids songs came to an end, it reminds me how much children's ministry needs more volunteers. So please, <laughs> sign up today. Please? Somebody? Anybody? Hey, don't ignore me. You're going to make baby Jesus cry. I see you over there. Yeah. Yeah, you. What's your name? Jamie. Get their name. Ushers. Amen, amen, amen. I love our children's ministry, always bringing joy to our hearts. Well, let's continue on to this morning with some worship, if you will, stand to your feet. Father God, we thank you for this wonderful moment we have to be able to celebrate you in this season as we focus our eyes on you, as we put our emphasis on lifting up your name, Father God. So Lord, we thank you for these moments that we get to worship together in person and online, Father God, that our hearts will be united as we exalt the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Like a frost on a rose, winter comes for us all. Oh, how nature acquaints us with the nature of patience. Like a seed in the snow, I've been buried to grow. For your promises, loyal, from sea to sequoia, I know though the winter is long, even richer.
Father God, we come to you today, Lord. And we just thank you that we're able to come and gather together because you sent us a gift 2,000 years ago that came to save humanity. And so, Father, I just pray for today on this Christmas 2022, Lord. Those that are here, those that are watching online, I pray that it would be their best year yet. Father, we just thank you. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a praise. Uh, you guys can have a seat. I'm just going to take it just a few more moments and kind of share the word of God because I, I just love this, the service today because really it's about family, isn't it? Isn't Christmas about family? And I know that, that many of you grew up with great families, and some of you maybe not. Some of you probably have had some hard Christmases and some great ones. But I'm grateful that you're here today. I'm grateful that you're watching today. And, and I, like I said, I'm just going to uh, uh, share a few thoughts on this Christmas 2022. I met a few of you from out of town. It's great to see that you're here with us today. And uh, if you're ever back in the desert, we hope that you come back and join us. But for the family that is here, I want to um, I want to title this message. Can anyone tell me what Christmas is really all about? And remember Charlie Brown when he came in and he's just He's depressed. And I think a lot of times people can be depressed at Christmas time. They may not have enough money. They may not have family around. They, right now, there's a lot of people that couldn't travel, that had plans all year long to travel to see their, their, their loved ones in other states. But because of the weather, they just got stuck someplace or weren't even able to travel. And, and you know, it could be depressing. And Charlie Brown is that way. And, and poor Charlie Brown, I just, I just feel sorry for him because he's just one of those just always looking at the negative and trying to just depressed. But he, he really comes up with, with the real question that everybody should be asking, what's Christmas really all about? Because they were making it, all his friends were making it about commercialism and the trees and this and that. And... And he just says, I, I really want to know what Christmas is all about. Because it's, it's, we see that Linus comes along and he comes and he reads out of Luke in the second chapter and he talks about the shepherds. But it's, it's more than the, the manger. It's more than the wise men. It's more than the shepherds. And I think if we really look at Christmas, we could try to pick out some scriptures that we say, oh, this is a Christmas scripture. But today, I, I, I'm going to encapsulate what Christmas is all about in two verses. And it's verses that we don't usually bring up at Christmas time, but they're so vital. And I've brought this up before because I think it's so important that it's in John 3, 16 and 17. Can anybody tell me what Christmas is all about? And if you only had two scriptures to share with someone, you don't want to go about J Jesus being baby in the manger and going to the cross. Many, there's so many scriptures, but if you had to encapsulate what Christmas is all about, it's John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world would be saved through him. There's just a few things that I see here that really encapsulate what Christmas is all about. For God so loved the world. Christmas is all about loving. God loved you. God loved me so much that he did not want to live a life separated from humanity. And like we've seen over the last couple of weeks, at the very beginning, when 
Adam and Eve partook of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, God says, oh, his heart was crushed because sin came. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. And he did not want to see us living that way. And our God is a just God. And so he's thinking, what, 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 I need to put a, 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 an action in play. And he took thousands of years to get things lined up, to, to get Joseph. And we, we saw last night on the Christmas Eve service, we saw that Joseph we had to go from Nazareth to Bethlehem and because of the census that God moved the governor to call a census to get Joseph where he needed to be so Jesus could be born. And God did this, had this wonderful plan. Why? Because he loves you and I. And that's what Christmas is all about, is about love. For God so loved the world. God says, uh, uh, the Bible says in Matthew, the fifth chapter, you've heard it says that you should love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, pray for those who spitefully use and persecute you. God loved us when we didn't love God. God loved us so much. That that's why Jesus came as a child. That's why Jesus came as a baby. So he, for God so loved the world that he gave. God is all about giving. Isn't that what Christmas is about? For a lot of people, it's just about giving gifts, giving gifts. And it's at Christmas time, it's one of those things. It's, it's, it makes people uh, have a heart of generosity. It's not, more, it's not about receiving. I don't, I'm not looking to receive. I'm looking at how can I give? How can I make something special? How can I make a, a, a cool gift? There was a, um, a recent uh, uh, memory that popped up, and it was when I gave you those, those sunglasses. And I made this picture of them, and I, and I blew it up, and then I had these sunglasses that I was going to give them for, for Christmas, and I, I put the glasses on there. So it, it was kind of like a 3D thing that, that I put together, and I just... I just wanted them to see their, their, their face when they opened it. Because it wasn't just a gift that I got. As it wasn't just a card, but it was, took some thought behind it. I remember a couple years ago, too, I, with my three sons, I had these skateboards, and I did some uh, decoupage on them. I asked them their favorite scripture and their pictures, and I put together this, this thing for each, each of my sons and their wives. And I, and I put their favorite scripture on and just... And I just, I just wanted to give. And I think that's what Christmas is all about. And that's what God forced, he so loved the world that he gave. His heart is just about generosity. And our hearts, because the Bible says we're made in the image of God, that our hearts should be the hearts of generosity. Giving of our time, giving of our energy, giving of our efforts, giving of our, our finances, giving of, of every area of our life. For God so loved the world that he gave. I love this, this scripture in 2 Corinthians 9 chapter. says, so let everyone give as he purpose in his heart, not grudgingly or out of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. giver. God says, purpose in your heart. And I think when we come to church, when, our, when we're about to tithe, we purpose in our heart, this is what I'm going to do, God, because I love you so much. Christmas birthday is coming. I'm going to purpose in my heart. This is what I want to give. And this is how I want to give to my children or how I want to give a gift to a friend. But it's all about giving. That's what Christmas is all about. For a lot of people, it's just about giving. And so for God to love the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish. It's all about rescuing God is all about the rescuing business. Jesus was born in a manger because he wanted to rescue humanity. Just like the Bible says, for the Son of Man did not come. Uh, the, the Son of Man has come to seek and save that which was lost. God rescued humanity with his love and his mercy. He saved us from hell. And that's what Christmas is for God so loved the world that he gave us Jesus that was born in a manger. That whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. It was all about the rescue. God says, I'm here to rescue humanity. But it's also about forgiving. God forgave us of our sins. God came along and he says, I'm sending Jesus 
because I want to forgive them of their trespasses, of their sins. And all they have to do is just believe. All they have to do is just believe. And I want, as we close today, and, you know, I just want to, to pray, and, and I want to just give you the opportunity, if you're here in this place, and you don't know who Jesus Christ is, that's what Christmas is all about. It's about Jesus Christ coming. The Son, the son of God, God in the flesh came to this earth. He didn't have to do that. But he willingly said, I'm going to put on an earth suit. And I'm willing to live a life of being persecuted, going to the cross, being uh, and persecuted and, and dying for a, something that I didn't commit, a crime. But they're going to accuse me. They're going to beat me. They're going to whip me. I'm going to go to this cross. And I'm going to go to the tomb and a grave. But yet, I'm going to raise again. And it all started with a seed that was put in Mary to bring forth a child. And so if that's you. If, you, if you're here, just bow your heads and close your eyes for a moment. If you're here in this Christmas 2022 and you're not sure where you're at with the Lord, Maybe you've never given your heart and life over to Jesus Christ. Maybe you have at one time or another, but you never followed through. Maybe it's, it's, you're saying, you know what, I came to church today because I just wanted to uh, make amends with God because I'm lonely and I have no one in my life. And maybe you're at that place and just saying, yes, I need Jesus in my life. I need to start and finish this year great so I can start next year even greater because the best is yet to come for you in your life once you say yes to Jesus. That's what Christmas is all about. So if you're in this place and you want to give your life over to Jesus Christ, I'm just going to count to three. Just slip up your hand and we're just going to pray a prayer. Maybe you're online watching as well. One, two, three. Just slip up your hand if that's you in this place. Just say yes. You want to say yes to Jesus. Well, let's pray this prayer for maybe those that are watching online and I want everybody to repeat this after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I come to you in Jesus' name. I thank you, God, for sending Jesus as a gift to come and rescue me from my sin. Jesus, come into my life and be Lord and Savior. I thank you, Jesus, for giving me my sin. I thank you that I'm born again. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I say, Pastor, you, that's a short message. That's the shortest you've ever done. I know. Uh, but you know what? It's, it's Christmas, and I just wanted us to, to come and let's gather together. I wanted to spotlight. You know what? Pastor Richard and Michelle, they did a fabulous job with... I, I, you know what? I just... And that's what Christmas should be. I, I just had fun. And, and uh, Pastor Mike and Stephanie, that's, they did a great job. And the worship team, our creative team, the children's, Pastor Chris in the video. And it, it was so great just to see everyone here. Where's, where's Andrew? Where's my grandson? I'm going to ask Nana to come on up. Let's see if, let's see if, if, we'll see if my grandson, this is one of my, one of my grandsons. Come on up. Come on up, oh, Papa. Come on up with Papa. Yeah, come on with Nana and Papa. You want to go with Papa? Yeah. Okay, there we go. He wanted to let me know that today that they were going to have some food. And he, told, he whispered in my ears, you know what he says? He says we're going to have ham, yams, hogs, malls. Green beans, potatoes, tomatoes, ham, yams, hogs, mog. And he says, you name it. We're having it. Yeah. No, I just, <laughs> we're just so, I want you guys to stand to your feet. Is there anyone else I missed? All the team that's here on Christmas Day, those of you that came out. Rob had his first authentic Mexican Christmas last night. He said he was up till four in the morning. 
So you know how Mexicans are cr crazy. And, uh, but you know what? Last night, because we had a tamale uh, potluck afterwards, yeah. and I looked up uh, tamale and the significance uh, in the Hispanic and Mexican culture, and you know what I thought was so amazing? The words, it said unity, community, uh, fellowship, and what else was that? Um, there's a couple other words, but it was just like, it's the church gathering together and that's what tamales family. do and family it brings people together and so he had his tamales last night we had our you didn't yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got to um, that was your gift that you unwrapped right no that's what i use now i'm hispanic so don't everybody it's it's okay for me I, this is one more time i'm going to tell this joke this year one more time, I'm going to talk about tamales, and then we're going to head out, and I'm going to pray a blessing over you, and we're going to go have tamales. Tamale scramble. No, but um, what was I going to say? Oh, no, no. It was not a joke. It's, it was kind of true. But when we, were at, when we were growing up, our family was, didn't have a lot of money, so we knew... If anything, if we didn't get that many presents or whatever, we always knew that they were going to have something to unwrap, and it was the tamales. So we always had, I'm telling you, I had probably 20, 30 gifts that I unwrapped already. So this Christmas season, so just to let you know. Anyway, Linda had her first tamale last night. First tamale ever. Had a great time. Anyway. Yeah. What? Oh, oh, I know. But until, until next year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They, there's no Christmas without Christ. For Hispanics, there's no Christmas without tamales. Some of you guys are going to get on with this. I want to leave. <laughs> Father God, I just thank you, Lord, for today. I thank you for those that, Father, that just came and those that are watching online and, and for the service. And, and uh before I pray, I want to ask, if you want to say something, I'm cutting off the prayer. Hold on a second. I just, he said it all. We just love you all. We want you to have a Merry Christmas. Yeah, he did all the talking, obviously. Um, but we love you guys. Merry Christmas. We, we count you as our family, and we wouldn't want to be anywhere else on a Christmas Sunday morning. So enjoy the rest of your day. And Father, we just thank you, Father. Bless them, Lord, as they leave. Today, let them have a blessed day with family, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, that as you loved us, you've called us to go out and love others. And that's why, as a church, we want to go out and love people to life. God bless you guys. Have a Merry Christmas. Those of you watching online, Merry Christmas.